Well, the question is whether Baba used to take bath and uh, uh, or not. And well, to begin with, the whole thing is that I joined Baba in the year 1938, and uh, I was in attendance. You see, and I was the one who was given the duty to prepare hot water for Baba's bath every morning. He would get up at about four o'clock in the morning. You see, and Soon after that, I had to be ready with bath water. And uh, as Harry Kenmo used to call, sort of mug dunking was, is the system in India, you see. So we had to keep hot water ready for Baba's bath. And every day without fail, Baba would take bath, whether he was in Pimpalgam, at Mehrazad, or at Mehrabad, or any place, even in a hotel where we stayed while on tours. I had to be ready with bath water at about 4 or 4.30. Years passed by, you see. Without fail, Baba would take his bath. But then, bath was just not one plain bucket, you see. There would be about half a dozen buckets, you see. And he would change his dress every day and uh, attend to his daily chores, you see. Seeing people or the crowd, or the group. But then it so happened later on, as years passed by, I think from 1965 onwards, he was very reluctant to take bath. And especially the head wash, you see. He wouldn't wash his head, you see. He wouldn't want, want, uh, want us to even talk about taking bath. No sooner anyone broached the topic, you see, Baba, there are no, now it's over a couple of months, you see, that you haven't had your head washed. Says he would break in someone, you see, to him and says, just, just try to tell me whether it stinks. And we would try to obey his command and find that, well, on the contrary, his body would give out sort of a perfume, you see, of a baby's body, you see, fragrance a fragrance of a baby's body. So that way he would shirk taking bath. And even with his clothes on, or whether he would be without his shirt, or sadra as we called, his, his body would be, he appeared to be very tender, very, very tender, and at the same time soft to touch, and uh, but he was very muscular, mind you. M muscles were there, of course, very strong muscles, you see. He would uh, sometimes give us the opportunity to touch him and feel his muscles, you see, the arm muscles, the biceps and all that. He was very strong, no doubt. Yet, in all appearance, he looked very tender and soft to touch. And uh, even even the uh, clothes, when, when his clothes were changed, when Baba changed his sadra, and it was given to be washed. We had to wash it. When we when we smelt it, it was fragrant. It was like uh, as if rose petals had been in it. Even even in in the mid of summer, when uh, Baba had been sweating like uh, anyone would in in that you'd get drenched with sweat. Sweat, and yet when that sadra was removed and we were taking it to wash it, when we kissed it up put it up to our face, it, it uh, had a beautiful fragrance. And Baba hadn't washed his m hair, his head, for uh, more than... One and a half years. Yes, that was the last time. And yet, it, it, it had... It was fresh and, and it smelled fragrant because... Um, when Mera or, or I embraced him or kissed him, it, it, even the hair smelled fragrant. And, and Baba would say, does it smell? Does it? And we said, no, Baba, it's, it's lovely. So there you are, said Baba. Why do you want me to wash my hair now? <laughs> then in the last days, it so happened, you see, that we felt that his body, at least the pores, needed some sort of massage, you see, and some refreshing. So, under one pretext or the other, you see, I would make arrangements for sponging his body. He wouldn't take bath, of course, that's, that was out of question for the last two years, so to say. 
and uh, well i am very weak in figures maybe one and a half years or two years or two and a half years i don't remember but it was a very long period you see that he had not taken any bath hair, hair, wash. hair wash that's what i mean and uh, well then he stopped even taking bath mind you but then under one pretext or the other i wanted him to have a sort of a sponge bath you see and uh, to ask him and then to prepare the whole thing would be futile because he would refuse to do anything so i found out a way out of it i just prepared i told gaver to prepare some basins full of warm water and uh, nice sponges and all that and then i took the advantage you see i said baba let me first wash your feet let, uh, let me sponge your feet and then of course with great reluctance he would admit that and then i would go to his calves you see and then to his thighs and then to his waist and then to his chest and then to his shoulder and head and face and everything you see so once baba remarked that well i was imitating him you see because he would do the same thing for the musts you see trying to induce them to have some sort of sponge or a bath you see so he with a very broad smile one day remarked just before passing away saying that well eraj you have learned the art from me you are trying to imitate me you see and of course we all enjoyed that joke i still remember that day you see when i tried to induce that and i did succeed in giving him a good sponge bath you see and he appeared so fresh and radiant once again you see with that sponge and massage of the body and all that well that's the story you see trying to outlast the past yes yes <laughs>
or for anyone who just needs any help, then he did it. I will give you one example. There are many, but I will give you one example at present. There was one man who was traveling in the train, and in the same compartment, two Baba lovers were there. They were talking amongst themselves about Baba. He only heard the name Meher Baba, Baba, Baba during their uh, conversation.